Oh, I tell you, I am so happy today to be up in Dallas with my family, with my children. Mm -hmm. uh, when I see my two door, my two granddaughters leave out a minute ago and going shopping, and and I, I told my son, I said, you know, Joe was really happy. And what made Joe so happy is that his children was doing well. That's right, Mom. And uh, it, it, it wasn't Joe didn't really, really feel so bad. When they told him that his cows were dead, his oxen were dead, his camel was dead, his sheep were dead, you know, he knew all those things he could get back. But Job, it, it put it in a new dimension when they told him that his kids were dead. Job laid his head on the desk and he began to sob. And Job was sorry because I'm telling you, when your children are not doing well, you're not doing well. And when I see my two granddaughters, I told my son, I remember the days when you were growing up and your brother and I bought you your first car and I looked down the street and there you and Daryl go. You and Daryl and that's when I began to get some real joy. They're not going to be small always. Then that's just, right. They're not. And, that's uh, just temporary. That's just temporary. And I saw teen going to Walmart and she had her list and I gave her my list and Linda getting in there, it just made my heart just joyful. This is what you live for. This, yes, yes. Yeah, but when my kids, when my kids doing well, I'm all right. Yes. Well, when they, when they ain't doing well, I ain't doing all right. Same with you with Keisha. When Keisha ain't doing well, I ain't. I, mm -hmm. It's a part of me ain't doing well. You yes. know, so I can understand certainly how. You know, how it, how, it, how, how it, can impact you? Yes, yes, right? yes, 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 yes. And they not feeling well, or something bothering them, it's bothering me too. Yes. That's where it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. And you know, even sitting over here, you know, uh, I, I'm just reminded when I used to drive you around and take you where you need to be and you were sitting over here, hey, we're still together. We just switched drivers. I show sure right. <laughs> I remember when I was in middle school and football games I had and uh, and had to be picked up, this, that, and the third. I wasn't driving. That's right. That's right. The seats was just switched. Seat, we just switched seats. That's all we yeah. doing. We're still together. And I tell you, I thank God for all these years that I've watched you all grow up and how God is using you and what he's doing in your life. I know Joe, he said he offered up sacrifices every day. And every day I offer up sacrifices for my children, for my grandchildren, for my family. So I know how. Joe Fair. When your family is doing well, you're doing well. And I thank God for this moment just to be here. It's been a long time to come up and to, to do some things and to celebrate my birthday with my sons up here that I didn't get an opportunity to. I'm just happy as I can be. Try yes, yes, yes. The Lord yes. is the Lord is good. He's good. All the time and all the time yeah. he's good. You know. These stages of uh, not being able to drive and the kids being little, mm -hmm. it's just temporary. It's, but boy, they grow up so fast. I tell you, it, yep. it don't take long. They grow up, then they get vehicles, then the car note grow, go up, then the insurance go up, <laughs> <laughs> then the gas bill go up. As they grow, it all goes up. And hopefully we teach them how to, to manage uh -huh. Their business. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So when they get to that point, I told DJ and Christine and Linda, I told all, all of them, so listen, by the time y'all get 22 years old now, I'm going to expect y'all to be, be bought uh, on your own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, now, uh, on your own, I'm meaning learning how to manage your bills and manage your affairs and manage uh, your, your job, your business, or whatever it is that the Lord has called you to do, mm -hmm. manage it. You know, we're here to help and support, uh -huh. but the expectation is that. Now, if it takes a little longer than that, that's, that's fine. I understand it, but but the, but you got to set an expectation. Mm -hmm. I got to set one. I just can't leave it in thin air. Mm -hmm. I got to give them a point, you know, and if it happens before the end, that's fine, you know, but you got to give them a target to shoot for, that's right, that's right. you know, so that I have a goal in mind and say, okay, by the time I'm 22, so now... Linda has 12 years to think about that. Mm -hmm. Christine's got five, and DJ got two, because he's 20. <laughs> so I'm telling you, my, this is what I ex expect, mm -hmm. because I can't take care of you. I can't longly take care of y'all and your mama, too. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all got to be independent so you can get prepared for your own families and your, mm -hmm. your own lives and be able to support yourself and manage your resources 
that the Lord has blessed you to have mm -hmm. so that you yourself can have your own family. Mm -hmm. And you know, and this is called teaching them life skills. And that's what I taught you all life skills. How to wash, how to clean, how to work, you know, go to church. You teach, you teach them those skills that they need. So when they need home, you know, just take it, you guys. When you, you guys got out of school, y'all didn't even come back home. Yeah, that's right. Didn't, 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 didn't come back home. When y'all graduate from school, you never came back. To visit. To, <laughs> that was it. That was it. You didn't come back to live. You came back to visit because I was teaching you those life skills. How to get out there, how to work, how to save, how to pay your bills, how to take care of yourself. Right. And this is what you teach our children. Because if you teach them those life skills, you know, they'll have something to compare it by, to go by.